Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is Scalable and Secure Sharing for Personal Health Record in Cloud Computing Using Attribute Based Encryption in the Domain Cloud Computing. Let's see the brief explanation about our project. Personal health record is an emerging patient-centric method of health information exchange which is often outsourced to be stored at the third-party server. To air control over access to own PHR, it is a promising method to encrypt the PHR before outsourcing. In this paper, we propose a novel patient-centric framework and suitor of mechanism for data access control to PHR stored in a semi-trusted server. To achieve fine-grained and scalable data access for PHRs, we leverage attribute-based encryption technique to encrypt each patient's PHR files. Different from multiple security domains that use the key management complexity for owners and users, a high degree of patient privacy is guaranteed simultaneously by exposing a multi-authority of attribute-based encryption method. In our existing method, the PHR have maintenance only in a particular with person. The system makes more complexity and the deep hide to the patient and doctor. They do not interact with each other. In our existing system, that to store the data on the third party server in the cloud, anyone can access the data. Now, proposed method the patient centric secure sharing of personal health records stored in a semi trusted server and focus on addressing the complicated and the challenges key management issue in order to protect the personal health record data stored in a semi trusted server that is a cloud server we <coughs> adopt the attribute based encryption method the main encryption primitive using attribute based encryption method access policies enables patient to selectively share the phr among the set of users that is only authorized users can access the file in our proposed model we propose a novel uh, attribute based encryption framework for patient centric uh, secure sharing of personal health record in a cloud computing environment under the multi owner setting to address the key management challenge actually divide the user of the system into two types of domain one is public domain and personal domain in the personal domain is nothing but the personal health record health record users only the authorized users that is it's like an admin the user who can view all the information that is a personal all uh, record information can be viewed by the user and the public domain is nothing included by the doctors and patients the valid doctors and the patient can access the file in our in our proposed model let's see the flowchart of our project this is a flowchart diagram first we have a master that is here is a master framework generation that is a whole entire hospital management will be maintained here we have a doctor staff that is an employee and the patient over here this is what we called as attributes in our doctor we have all the doctor details that is either a heart doctor or eye specialist in the category of heart doctor we have a surgeon and outpatient specialist so and so that is what we called as an attribute and the, the, all this detail will be included here and the staff is nothing but an employee employee who have an employee detail over here the patient is nothing but the patient management we have an inpatient and the outpatient and the patient and uh, assessment everything will be maintained here and those records will be maintained in a cloud server that is will be stored in our database that is as a cloud server the daily recorded will be, uh, will be get through and those records will be stored in our database and the data will be collected from our database if, uh, if the user is get valid the information will be collected and so by the user this is about our data flow diagram let's see the demo of our project this is our home page we have one registration phr owner access control dynamic policy change and the break glass access in the registration we have a doctor and patient registration that is we have both doctors and patient that is a public users they if the user is get valid only the information can be viewed by the inform that here is a phr owner that is personal health record owner it's like i can view every information the access control is not 
thing that the doctor and patients will be included if though patient and doctor is get valid they can access the effort the dynamic policy change is nothing but we have an edit updation and deletion property if the user is once get valid they can edit and update their data since the control if the user don't have an access key they can the, the key will be sent to the particular particular user's uh, mail id let's see the our whole entire demo now i'm entering into the registration this is our doctor reg registration form just i'm clicking on this new button i'm getting a new id here here i'm entering the do details for doctor i had i got an id i'm entering any of the doctor name over here i'm entering my phone number then mail id then address your date of birth qualification joining date timings and the specialist and the, that is a particular specialist for the doctor is and they, i'm getting the key that is from this key only it's a, like it's a, like a secret key in this secret key with this help of the secret key only the both the doctors and the patient can access their data and i click on this add button then my data has been inserted successfully now i am going for patient registration i'm giving my new data here i have entered my patient id patient name date of birth gender and marital status and so on so information also the disease name of the disease how the patient has been affected and the key which is generated by the server when i click on the submit button i got the data that is the patient data has been inserted successfully now i am going for access control when i click on this doctor login button now the user is going to login I just entering my uh, name of the doctor and the key. With the help of this key only, the doctor is going to log in into the application. If the user is valid, they can enter into the application. Here, the doctor can access their appointment details, surgery details, patient information, operation report, and so on. So now I'm going for surgery. The doctor is choosing any one any of them, the patient information. Here I got a patient ID. The name of the patient and the problem has been retrieved. We have retrieved from our cloud server. Here I am giving my and I'm giving my surgery data as 15 and the surgery time as something like when I give this update, the surgery details would be uploaded successfully. Now I'm in giving into the doctor home. I'm going to get the information about the patient information. If I click on this patient too. The information will be get loaded and if I give anything like a patient history, this update button information is sent to the patient. When I click on this doctor home, now I am going for operation report. Now I am choosing any one of the patient as patient one or patient two. It's either success means success or it's a failure. And the data will be passed to one patient. Now I am going to access my patient information. I have entered with my patient name and the uh, key and I click on this appointment. The patient is uh, requesting the doctor to give the appointment details. Uh, I click on this get appointment uh, number and when I, I can click any one of the patient name over here. And the last date of doctor name and the problem description or something like click on the submit button. Uh, your appointment ID is and the details is get inserted here on this doctor prescription here the patient id will be calculated when i click on this view button and the particular information that the, which the doctor has been prescribed will be loaded here and when i click on this patient view button the I click on the surgery details when i click on this view button the surgery details which is given by the doctor will be get uploaded here then log out from this application now I am going to access with my PHR owner. Here is a personal user registration form. Click on this new. We will get a PHR owner ID. Enter all these data and I am getting the key from the server. This is a secret key. We are going. My details is get inserted. Now I am going to log in with the PHR data. CHS. And 1, 2, 3. I click on the submit button we are entering into our application here the user will get all the information when i click on this patient info the information for this particular will be displayed with attribute based encryption method and the doctor prescription also will be entered with the help of an attribute based encryption method if you want to give data about the attribute based decryption enter your secret key over here 
I am just entering my secret key over here and when you click on this verify button you are permit you will get an information that is you are permitted to access a file and my button will be get displayed here when I click on this button I can view the uh, I can view all my I can view all my information in a decrypted format when I click on this doctor prescription also I can view all the information in a decrypted format this is uh, it's like an admin who can view all those informations now I'm going for an when I click on this break glass access control now I'm entering into the application for the emergency control of the patient when I click on this uh, new ID uh, new ID for an emergency patient will be get uploaded and when I click for a patient ID the name of the patient will be get uh, included here when I click on this view patient history the information for this particular patient will be included with the, in an encrypted format when I click on this get secret key the information um, the secret key will be sent to, uh, to mail ID so when I click on the send mail mail will be transmitted to the particular patient now I am going to access my data enter your secret key over here when I click on this view attribute based decryption with the help of the TID the user can view the whole entire operation this is about my project thank you